Hello and welcome. We have a very interesting person for you to meet tonight. We're going to be talking with Horst. And I think most of you in our metropolitan area know that he is the founder and chairperson of the Aveda Corporation. He is also one of the owners, of course, of, of, course, of Horst Salons. Uh, there are 20,000, I read now, around the world. No, they're not. <laughs> no, no, that's I what I read, Horst. No. 20,000? No, no, we sell our products, I think, uh, in 20,000 sales. Ah, yeah. ah, that's the that's difference. That's 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we don't know. Okay, <laughs> how many Horst salons? Or do I, you know? I think we have four or five. Mm. Oh, my. <laughs> that was a stretch then, yeah. wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> um, well, we'll try and be more factual here as we go. As I read about you and talked to people who knew you or n and know you, um, I, I thought to myself that you are a very unique person. And I'm wondering if that does not make for also feeling lonely at times um, because you don't fit in a lot of pegged places as, as so many people do in their middle years. No. <laughs> It doesn't feel lonely. I, I, I'm not a lonely person. <laughs> I'm okay. too busy to be lonely. Yeah, I'm, th I'm not uh, feel that way at all. I, Do I, you I see yourself as unique? Not, not even that. No, I... No? No. Not really, no. You're told, though, by other people that you are, I bet, right? Maybe sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> You mm. grew up in Germany. Austria. Uh, Austria, Austria, right. Um, tell us a little bit about what it was like for you as a little boy. Well, I come from a, um, born 1941, um, Second World War. Um, I remember the bombs. Mm. I, I remember. Was that terrifying? Yes, it was very terrifying. First time I came to Minnesota. <laughs> I was I was 22 years old and there was a tornado warning mm -hmm. and then, and the same sirens and I totally froze and it's amazing how one's memory you know how how accurate that is and uh, such a the old feelings yeah same feelings back. and and it was a, for a moment and then I realized you know people told me it was a <laughs> it was a tornado mm -hmm. it was one airplanes but it's 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 uh, yeah so I remember that. I remember my parents were uh, very uh, poor people. My father was a shoemaker. Is he still alive? No. no he just died then? Uh, three months ago. Mm -hmm. ah. And he was 91 then? No, I he was 97. 97? Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Wow, so he lived to be. Yeah, a long life. An old man. And uh, so my youth was, uh, you know, I had to start uh, working early. I began my career at 14. You actually hated school, I read. I was terrible in school. Yes, I hated school. You're right. Hated that was a good word. The word. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, told, I could not learn in school. Uh, two things I was doing well at uh, when I was drawing art and natural history. Mm -hmm. Nature study. That was a. I had AIDS, <laughs> mm -hmm. and but something you were interested in. Even yeah, very like much that. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I couldn't. I didn't. I was very. I couldn't pay attention in school. My mind always was obstinate. It was weird. It was weird. It was a terrible student. Were you bored by by the school? Not bored. I was obstinate. You know, absent-minded kind mm -hmm. of. Hyperactive? Maybe hyperactive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it could be. It could be hyperactivity. Does that carry on now in terms of high energy? Do you find you're, you are a person with more energy than average, do you think? I think everybody has energy. I think it's how, you know, how one, uh, you know, energy, you know, it's, it's power. But you need something to to light it up, I think. You know, I've it, interviewed it, a lot of successful people, you know, and I have asked myself, what is the, the ingredient that they all share? And one of them is what I have perceived as a lot of energy. Maybe they're tapping into their energy more than yeah, average. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that, uh, you know, that it must be. 
I like what you're saying. I, I, I relate to that, what you're saying. I think we all have energy. And I think that is how we tap into it mm -hmm. and how we use it. And, mm -hmm. and I think it has to do what we see, what our images are. You know, I, I'm sure that if one's images doesn't look too bright or doesn't look too good, then I think that then it's a reflection of how energy is used, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, and if one looks at the cup being more full mm -hmm. than empty, I think it's a change in energy. Mm -hmm. so, so in a way, it sort of starts here, doesn't it? In yeah, the oh head. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it always does. Mm -hmm. you know. I want to jump back to your being a 14-year-old boy and starting to work. You worked as a hairdresser mm -hmm. and apparently worked long hours. And I read, came and opened the shop up and mm -hmm. did everything. Sure, um, I had started to practicing. It's uh, uh, the system. There was a system. I had to be at work at six. Uh, I was a very small sh shop. It was uh, the, the owner, his wife, and another apprentice. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had to be there at six, make the fire because there was no central heating. It, mm -hmm. it was one of those. Uh, porcelain ovens, mm -hmm. and we had to make the fire, and it took a good hour until the room, the salon, was warm, and we had to clean it. So we take we things so for granted, don't we now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, some people still do it. You know? That's true. <laughs> some people some go to night shift, mm -hmm. and that's what they do. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's tough. How did you get to Minnesota? And I guess the second question, why d have you stayed in Minnesota? It seems in a way an unlikely place for someone who grew up in Austria and has lived around the world to settle right here. We're glad you did, but... I'm glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> what what uh, kept you here and what brought well, you here? I, I came to America in 63. I was 22 years old and uh, managed to become noticed in Europe as a professional. And uh, came to New York and had, a, had a, an engagement here, freelance job here, mm. and uh, bus worked with business people here. I, I was training their staff and made friends. And I had a car accident, which really uh, uh, I owed the hospital money, and there was a lawsuit. A drunken driver hit us from behind. Mm. And it was, uh, and I was also needed to be healed. I had uh, uh, vertebrae broken. Mm -hmm. And uh, so by the time I uh, had to go back to work, and I, st I started working in a local salon. It was, mm -hmm. I had no choice. To pay some of the bills. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I had no money. I had little money, and, but I owned more than I had. But at that time, you were already known around Europe, right, as I was a, known in a Europe good hairdresser? Amongst, yeah, I was mm -hmm. a very good hairdresser, mm -hmm. and I, I had, yeah, I mean, that was my thing. I mean, I exhaled and inhaled hairdressing mm -hmm. in my youth. Mm -hmm. I took it very serious. I worked uh, on myself to be good mm -hmm. and um, practiced a lot, you know, practiced a lot. And then, of course, I had I got good breaks. You know, good timing was at the right places, and uh, so in Minneapolis, it was easy. It was easy to build a clientele. I always I learned how I, I I in the places I worked, I worked on very fussy people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some were very rich, some was very famous, and people like that are very fussy. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to, I learned how to serve people who are fussy, and I enjoyed it servicing and uh, and I could deal with fussy people fussy people never bothered me you know when they got too fussy I told them stop being too fussy <laughs> you know but how did you handle their fussiness I mean some people get angry back some people withdraw what did you do well some I got angry some mm -hmm. I just simply told them that you know I am also human and uh, and so that usually worked pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could yeah. relate to that. Right. Um, you founded Aveda Corporation in 1978, yes. right? What was the driving force behind that decision? Well, in the late 60s, 
I started actually, the name of Veda was, mm -hmm. was uh, incorporated uh, in uh, 78. And Aveda means, you were telling us earlier. Yeah, it means in, uh, in ancient Greek, it means uh, health. Uh, and in Sanskrit, which is not an ancient language, it means uh, knowledge, nature, mm -hmm. no knowledge of nature. So, uh, or knowledge related to nature. So, um, uh, Aveda, uh, I actually, I, I started making products in the late 60s. Uh, I, my mother was a herbalist. She was an Austrian, very sincere woman who went to the mountains and mm -hmm. uh, made, made her own little compounds and um, so but was she your your inspiration in a sense not when I w not in the youth later on yes mm -hmm. my mother was my mother was a very good inspiration for me my mother was a good mentor mm -hmm. she was very strong she was very uh, holistic spelled mm -hmm. with a W she -hmm. couldn't stand people not telling the truth or not being sincere or not being uh, quality about, you know, themselves. Mm -hmm. She was a very proud woman. Mm. So she was a good mentor. She was a good role model for me. And my mother, and my father also, he was an artist, you know, he was a shoemaker. He made, he made tremendous shoes, mm. uh, crippled after the war. People had, you know, uh, injured feet and he made orthopedic mm. He used to carve his own forms, and then he made shoes. So it was an artist. So he didn't yeah. just sell shoes, but he created them. No, he made them. shoes. Uh -huh. He was never. He was not in selling shoes. He was mm -hmm. just making shoes. He was mm -hmm. a shoemaker, mm -hmm. you know. And he made sports shoes. He was not a good business person. Mm -hmm. uh, he never could uh, relate to how to just. Uh, and, and in many ways, he was not very responsible either. So, well. When you started Aveda, where did you go to get your plants, your flowers? I mean, in the summertime around here, we're, we're fine, but mm. we don't have well, a lot we of Well, we work variety. with many species of plants. Our system, we, we are truly, uh, we learned over the years to be uh, engineers of plants. Uh, uh, so we, we use more than 1,500 species of plants. Uh, Many of them are grown in warm climates, tropical climates. We, we buy from plants, we use plants from all over the world. In the early days, though, Hurst, did you, did you um, just choose from certain areas? Were you able to right away go all over um, when you first well, started? Well, in the early days, we, we uh, bought raw materials which other people made for us. Mm. Uh, and you know the, the extracts and things like that. Okay. But we learned that you know we were trying to make natural products many years ago, and we learned that to make natural products, it's not an easy thing to do, because uh, if one is a manufacturer like we were, we started being manufacturers, and we used local uh, uh, places to fill our products. And some of them weren't very sincere. Some of them didn't use what our formulation was. Mm -hmm. uh, they made it their way to save money, and, and they weren't sincere. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we switched, and we found other ones. And, and we realized that the way to make natural products is you do it yourself. And, and so not even rely on others compounding. You do it yourself. So we start manufacturing. and. Uh, learning how to find, uh, uh, I mean, I have always traveled to the East because I, I learn a lot from, from monks uh, in the Himalayas, uh, China. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 un, I, I learned that people who have indigenous connections or, or part of the indigenous uh, structure have a lot of information. So I begin to plug into to the different and, and begin to gather information, start using it, start compounding it, making products. And so you actually yourself were mixing up different mm -hmm. herbs and I like yeah I like you see combinations I, yeah of I like things. I I have 
I wear many, many roles in the company, and I still do. Do you? I was yeah. wondering if you mm -hmm. still got into the lab oh. and oh. experimented. It's one, favorite, it's one of my favorite things to do, oh. to work with the chemists, to work with the scientists, and, you know, in my own little primitive way. And that's good, because I'm not this, you know, I didn't go to college. I didn't get a degree in chemistry. I didn't get a degree in science and all this. But somehow, I, I, I know what I'm doing. Uh, mm -hmm. Somehow, I'm practical about what I'm doing. And sometimes maybe that's what's working, because sometimes people who are so smart, they are, sometimes I see them not seeing what I see. Mm -hmm. And works good. I work good with scientists, and I enjoy working with scientists. I work well with medical people. Uh, I work good with psychologists. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love human behavior. I, 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 it fascinates me. And uh, I also now begin to understand trade, do which is business. Do you wish you had gone to college, or are you glad no, you didn't no, waste your no, time I'm glad with I four years out? I'm <laughs> glad I never went to college, because uh -huh. I don't have paradigms that some smart mm. people have. Mm -hmm. It must be done this way, because yes. it's always been done that way. Huh? Uh -huh. I, I am zero. I start always, everything I have ever done, I started from zero. And I had to learn it by doing it. And I'm delightful that, that I had that opportunity. Do you feel that your intuitive sense is strong? I mean, do you trust your own intuition? Yeah, it's street survival. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's being a street, I call it, I always use the term, I'm a street kid. Because mm. that's what I feel, that's what I feel, <laughs> you know. I just got a sign saying we only have 10 minutes left. I want to switch gears. You are now known for being on the cutting edge in terms of pushing to save the planet, working on real um, heavy duty environmental issues. How did that, just in a nutshell, Horst, how did that interest get so strong? Was it out of your work with your own business? Was well, it out of reading? Anybody who works with plants, mm -hmm. anyone, and, uh, uh, and uh, I, my, my business is plants. Uh, uh, we'll, and one way to get into the plant's structure and understand how to use the plant spirit. Mm -hmm. One learns there's a symbiotic relationship between plant, mineral, plant, and animal. And that's the domain you and I come or, or re mostly related to. Mm -hmm. And how symbiotic the other parts are to sustainability of, of, of the human and species. If you change and one all part. species. In all species. Mm -hmm. So uh, one simply learns that you know, every two hours, uh, 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 or, or every hour, two species of plants disappear forever on this planet. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now, every... How do you keep from getting so depressed by the things you learn when you're in the environmental Well, sometimes field. I use anger. Sometimes I get angry that we are doing this, that this is going on, mm -hmm. that how stupid we are and how greedy we are mm -hmm. as a species. Mm -hmm. And I want to include myself into that because I don't want to set myself, you know, I'm still... We are all part of this, of this f a phenomena. And but we're also human, so we're also smart, and it's time to give a little bit of ourselves, and it's, and it's time that, and I think maybe this whole thing is just designed to be that way. Maybe mm -hmm. just nature has a wonderful way of teaching us how we ought to behave. Sometimes I believe that, you know? That things have to get... That nature is teaching us. Uh -huh. That things that have to get great bad before we can do... That this is a great lesson. Good. Yeah, I know one thing I, I don't learn until I become mm -hmm. concerned about something. Mm -hmm. uh, fear sometimes wakes me up, and I pay attention. And I think that fear is, is, is uh, or, or pain, I rather should say, that sometimes pain is a signal mm -hmm. that we ought to learn something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we can use it then. But unfortunately, you know, we have become very desensitized. I, I blame uh, petrochemical society, I, I, I blame pollution, environment, mm -hmm. that our environment we work, we live in is polluted. Inside our workplaces, uh, our uh, living places is as bad, 
because everything is made from petrochemicals. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, our senses have become desensitized. Our immune system, what is the cause of allergy? What is the cause of AIDS? What is the cause of cancer? You see, mm -hmm. we, we don't know what the causes mm -hmm. are, but yet some people say yes. Maybe it's environmental stress. Stress within this environment, stress within the environment that environment which you inhale and exhale. You mentioned AIDS. That's another one of the causes, in a sense, that you've gotten very interested in. Um, did that come out of your work with the environment, or did that come out of well, I, losing friends? Or? I'm becoming, you know, if you become aware of plants, you become aware of, 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 of nature, and, and uh, you know, uh, society is 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 uh, you know social venture is i've become very interested in how we sh ought to we could socially venture and how we we must uh, change our paradigm so that we create a more intelligent future for ourselves rather than a, 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 de a depressed future the way we live in right now you are so excited you know and seem very sincere about your interest in the environment can you still run Aveda and work with the horse salons and do the environmental work also? Can you do all of that or are you thinking of shifting mm, no. into I, the environmental no, it's not more? shifting anything because I think bringing, it's, uh, it's all about eco, ecology, it's all about uh, economics, it's about economics where uh, uh, making uh, the f uh, uh, survival for today and service for 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 uh, uh, the species, which includes ourselves, mm -hmm. it becomes uh, 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 a business. It becomes a trade, and that's the the trade of the future of now. We need to engage in this trade to save the planet. Otherwise, we're going to go outside ten years from now and fry ourselves from UVA, UVBs, because there won't be enough ozone here or something to protect us. Or probably we will have different clothing, because somehow we always figure out how to live. But we're definitely going to live different. We're already living different now. Sunbathing is just stupid, mm -hmm. you know? Because you're just going to get cancer for sure, and you may just get it sooner. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and young people and, and, and people who go to the sun ought to pay attention to that truth or to that reality because it's happening all over the world. And so we are living different right now and like that. In terms of your goals, Horst, for your life in the next 20 years, do you have written down goals? Do you have them in your head or do they just evolve as you, as you I, go? I, 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 I was writing down goals, you know, I tried to be this organized business person. You do <laughs> things by discipline, structure, and stuff. Uh -huh. And every goal I've ever had, I run behind. And, and, the, and my goal was when I'm 50, I'm going to become an environmentalist, whatever that means. And I'm mm -hmm. saying, what well, environmentalist? Why don't you just become a responsible business person? Mm -hmm. And just don't tell people what to do. You know, some environments always tell people what they should mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. I decided, you know, being a good environmentalist, be a good business person, be, a model and be part a of a new economics, and 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 you know, live on the edge and and uh, uh, try some set some uh, uh, you know new new wave, set a new wave, or try something so different. So be be someone that others can can learn from in terms of what you. I don't know if others can learn from it or not. I think it just needs to be done, mm -hmm. you know, because why doing something? You know, I never want to make a product somebody else already makes. If I can make a product better or a difference, uh, at least benefit something uh, more than the other, why making it? Mm -hmm. Just to make money? I don't like, to make money is, is not smart. Because w what is the benefit? It's gotta be, it's gotta be more than that. What makes you happy? I what mean, makes I'm me guessing happy. money you know does not make, me make happy? you happy. Being with happy people, mm. that was makes me happy. Mm. And also making people who are not happy smile and happy. That mm. makes me even more happy. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's the interpersonal. Yeah, it's stuff. service. Mm -hmm. I like being of service if I can. Now you're not married, speaking of the personal <laughs> side here. <laughs> no, but I, right? I lived with her for six years with a wonderful woman. And uh, uh, who knows? <laughs> Does she say, let's, let's really make 
make this um, legal, let's get married, or does she Why well, we talk about it? Mm -hmm. And uh, probably we will do it, you know, if it's, if it's, uh, uh, if we find time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> You're 50. Does, does time look different at yeah. 50 than it did at 45 yeah. or 40? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. it looks different, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you know what it, uh, it, it's, it, 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 for me, it becomes less fearless. Mm. I was more afraid. As older I get, the less afraid I become. I used to be afraid. Uh -huh. I used to be afraid of death. I used to be afraid of a lot of, I used to be afraid of failure in business. Uh -huh. I mean, that's why I was one, probably one of my <laughs> biggest motivating things to, to go, work hard. to be there so hard. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm, it doesn't matter anymore. It's th those things, the other things now begin to matter more than some of the other things. We have 30 seconds left. In 30 seconds, Horst, what matters most to you right now? Just be able to follow my bliss, follow my goals and my mm -hmm. visions. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us and, and telling us a bit about you and, and your your goals, and um, good luck with your work in the environmental front. Thank you. Same for you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we'll be back again next week. Until then, have a good week. <laughs> <laughs>